All right, so now that we have our actual controls for our mixer motor starting, right, and we have our pop-up and we have our pop-up made, we need to go ahead and make um, our manual controls for our AVO1, AVO2, and thereof, just like we have right here. Now, um, what I did is to save a little bit of time is I went ahead and duplicated. All I did was come in here and duplicate, and then I went ahead and made the second one. Now, I used a little bit different buttons but again I haven't tagged it or anything like that so um, we're going to go ahead and make sure this completely works before we actually go ahead and add them but I'm going to add one for AVO1, AVO2, AVO3, and AVO4. Um, down here we can do AVO6 and AVO7 so each one of these will have an individual pop-up um, and of course AVO5. Each one of these will have an individual pop-up but we're just going to do uh, one of them together so that you can see that and then that way we'll have all of these completely functional now I'm gonna do the controls for this a little bit different so I'm go, gonna come in here I'm gonna go into our controls and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna request alright so we're gonna actually come in here and add a HMI on like so we'll call this um, just like similar to what we did over here for the batch, batching motors so like down here, we'll have manual start, um, HMI manual on, um, and just like that, right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, and so we'll, we'll do that. We'll come in here and we'll say HMI uh, manual, uh, and then we'll say manual on, <clears throat> on, a V O one. So this is really, really, really simple. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here. And so for this matter, what we need to do is have, uh, we can, we can do one shots or, or not. I mean, it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is actually come in here and actually do a request. <clears throat> and then we'll say manual or let's say A V O one manual request and I like to keep everything capitalized just to keep it simple so we'll make a bit like that then we'll come in here and we'll do this so we can seal this in right let me seal this in and then what we can do is say when it turns on we'll cut it up we'll basically you know have it where it, it cuts off <clears throat> because our actually we want to we want to hold it on as long as we have it and then then turn it off so what we can do is have we can seal this in and have this on and then when we hit the stop button it will cut off so that that sounds like it's a uh, more feasible thing to do and then so that way we can just come in here and simply just do this and and it all depends on how you want to actually program it but I mean one versus the other well you know we're just kind of going on this is going to say off we're just kind of going and making sure we have a, a process of our a good operation right um, so this would be avo1 that's off <clears throat> so all that's going to do is say if you push the button it's going to say it's going to basically latch in so let me just simulate this for you real quick and if i push it on it's going to latch and then when I push the off button, it's going to basically unlatch. Now, what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to add these controls in here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to bounce, jump around this. And I'm going to say, if my request is on, and the reason I want to have a request button is because we're going to use all of these in conjunction with having an automatic start and then we'll put these in series together like a summing and we'll have a summing bit to say all valves are in you know in auto or all valves are in manual or one valve is in manual you can determine which one and then you can flag a, a, an alarm if you try to start and then there's like one stuck in manual then you can actually come in and flag an alarm so this is kind of a cool cool feature for that too so uh, what we'll do is branch around these the delay um, we really don't care about the delays we just want to cut avo one on so this is where you come in and you have these features and we're just branching around that so in this instance what's going to happen 
and I'll show you is we'll come in here and flag this on and it will turn that on okay now <clears throat> if you notice we're doing something we shouldn't be doing right here right so I don't want to be requesting to turn on AVO3 so what we can do and what we should do is come over here and throw this over here and block the ability to control AVO3 okay so this will be an automatic on automatic off so now all we're doing is controlling AVO1 so this is this is why we do the testing and that's why I wanted to show you that okay so now that that's that we can add these controls into our actual system alright so <clears throat> now we have AVO1 I don't have anything tagged in here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to have an action now what I'm gonna do is a set again and then we're gonna call this what we can do is we can come over here and drag and, and get our set and put it right here so so let's go all commands and then we'll go to set and then what we'll do is we'll come over here and then we're going to refresh tags because we made brand new tags so what we want to do is actually get the new stuff right so we're going to come over here and this is avo1 manual request we want actual hmi avo1 on this is the very first one right so this is there and the value is one <clears throat> so that's that we can just copy this it's really 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 that simple just copy and paste that right here to save you some time and then we'll call that zero all right so the cool thing about this is you can have a confirm action if you want um, so you can have a confirm action if you if you want to do that to configure that and to say are you sure now I want to show you that so in this this confirmation are you sure you want to perform this action we'll say yes and then there's that okay so with that in we're going to do that and this is going to be the off so we're going to open up the properties we're going to come in here to action and then we're going to get we'll just delete this come over here to set again so hopefully you're, you're getting how exactly how we're building this and how we're doing this right quick um, and then we're going to do a set and this is going to be the off and this is going to be a verify one or just the, I mean it's very 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 simple copy this <clears throat> go down here and paste this okay so there we have that configure this you can change the wording in here however you want it to look right um, then we're going to go ahead and and it's going to issue the command only when oh this when you change this to zero but it's going to only issue the command when we actually accept the word yes if we if we say no then it's not going to accept it right so now i have these in here and i have these the words in here so that let me actually pull this up a little bit bigger and that way you can see it so I have these words in here. So what I'm gonna do is have the words visible only when it's not active. So if the tag is being pushed, ABO one on, then I wanna make it invisible, okay? So there's that and then the same thing here, animation, visibility, and then tag, and then we're gonna drag and hit our off button and then invisible okay so if we press the button it's going to the the name or the wording that we have on there this is why I manually made it that way so if we push the button it's gonna say zero or it's gonna it's gonna go to a zero and it's gonna it's gonna not be visible you should say that in a, a much different term <clears throat> so that it's easy to understand okay so now what we need to do is start our client um, so what I've done is I've actually came in here and did a touch feature in here and pulled up that AVO1 just to save us some time on this. We're gonna save this, we're gonna launch a client. Now, we're gonna launch the client for the simple fact of we. this is the only screen we have or we're, we're pulling up right now. If we had a different screen, we could actually go off of that screen and come right back on the screen. But being that we only have this one actual client, or this, this, this one screen on the client, 
we're going to go ahead and and have to like you know just shut the client down and restart it <clears throat> this gives another instance of the whole screen because we did make a physical change right here so um, also too I added the uh, motor controls right so the speed of the motor if the motor is running will highlight right here and I have a little arrow for that right there showing that right only and I did the, the simple fact too is I did the animation for that too is if the the VFD is running so I just want to kind of you know briefly go through that because you know we're doing a lot of stuff at once and like I say this is the reason why we went slow in the beginning so we can actually go a little bit faster in the end and have this working okay so this is there so if we have this here this is gonna pop up and if I want to cut this on okay I want to cut that on are you sure yes and then it will send the command over there <clears throat> now sometimes when you start a, a actual um, HMI it's a little sluggish to begin with so we'll verify that this is actually working and I'm not sure if we have a pause in there or not so let's hold that and that's what we need to do we need to have a pause in there so let's close that and let's come over here open this up <clears throat> go over here and this is where the pause comes in so you could do a pause right here and let's say oh the, the this is the one thing I, I failed to do <clears throat> and I'm glad I did this is because you first you need to come over here if you're going to use the conf confirmation you're going to do a release. The confirmation is always based off of, of a release. So we're going to have to paste this here. And what we'll do is we'll throw a pause in here. We'll do a pause and then we'll say uh, one second <clears throat> is completely fine. So I like to space everything. And that way, then we have the confirmation and then that would work just like that. So we'll do this and then we'll come over here and do the same thing over here so um, and again if you need to get access to it you just turn this off and then come over here and then move that down just a little bit and then we'll highlight this and then our index set down and put a pause one second so we're gonna pause for one second throw it back on the configuration back on now this is a pop-up screen so we don't have to start the client again because all we have to do is save the screen and then when we save the screen we go right back to it open it back up and then now it should index on go so if you see the way that works and now it's gonna it's gonna issue a zero now it's gonna issue the one when I hit yes because I'm confirming off of the based upon the release of the button I'm confirming I'm right I'm it's, it's come, coming up here saying oh do, are you sure right so that's the good side to are you sure is you have an operator taking the responsibility to say yes I do want this to happen I am physically taking responsibility saying I want this to happen and then they can come over here now as long as they push the button it's not gonna do anything so if you notice that if I push the button like this if I hold it it's not gonna do anything now if I hold the button see right there as soon as I let go of the button it will it will actually prompt that right so now all this is working what I'm gonna do is actually go, come back and add the rest of these in here for AVO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, and 7 and that way we have our our controls in here for each one of these now, each one of these will be a simple pop-up screen we have kind of formulated these completely different than we did this one over here and again that is still working and we have the the speed running at at one Hertz right now now again when it comes down to it we didn't actually do uh, the conf confirmation over here and that's a simple thing that's the reason I wanted to kind of segment the two and, and how you do things because when it boils down to it when you really understand the more fundamentals you understand about how things work and like is confirmation something we want to use is if we have an operator you know we want to make things operator friendly but when we have our operator using it and operating it we also want them to be responsible with that process and not uh, you know do something that they shouldn't be doing so sometimes it's good to prompt them 
to say, are you sure you want to have this happen? Now, if I hit cancel, it's not going to do anything. That's the cool side to actually having that feature is if I hit cancel, it's not going to do a thing. Now, if I hit yes, okay, then it's going to come in here and do, it's going to turn that valve on. So you see the way that works and you see the way how easily that confirmation can be put in there. Now, what I want you to do is actually, you know, if, if you have any questions about this, is I want you to actually practice that and actually go through and do that. Now, uh, again, when I push it, it's not going to do a single thing. So right now I have it pushed just to kind of show you in the program. It has not done a single thing yet. Now we're going to come over here and hit the confirm. Okay. And then we're going to go back in our program. And now we can see that it's confirmed, right? Now, usually speaking, generally speaking, you wouldn't have the confirmation going off because off is always a safe you would want it as quick as possible. Uh, so now in that terms, we can actually come in here and actually change that real quick. So let's go back in here and let's go right here and let's not do the confirmation on this one. So we want, we don't want to do the confirmation on this one. All right, so we'll leave that just like it is. <clears throat> Uncheck the confirmation and then we'll come over here and do the normal release press and release okay now this is on just on the the off button okay so now the on button still confirms on because we're we want them to acknowledge the fact of hey we do want it on the off button is just gonna or the close button is just gonna allow them to close it right off the bat it's not gonna confirm anything so let's actually go in here and test that Okay, so this is a pop-up. We have to refresh our pop-up. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna open it. It's gonna ask us to confirm. We're gonna confirm. It's gonna open it. And then we're gonna close. It won't ask us to confirm anymore. It will just go ahead and close. So that is the best use case, uh, sys you know, I guess way to do it. And and it really depends on the way you want to to implement this. Is but. The way I, I like to look at this is the safer the process, the better it is. So if you can have the off button, you know, work quick or the close button, if you want to work right then, then it would be safe, right? Now, if you want to have it turned on, you want the operator to take responsibility to say, yes, I do want this to action to happen, right? Then we can do that. Then it would turn on. Now, if they said, oh, no, I don't want it on, then they can just push it, cut it off real safe scenario real easy to understand comprehend and this is the why you know you this is the the ability to, to have a factory talk se system or a site edition system and have it control a lot of the things that you're doing on the operator side on the screen side rather than having it done on the actual plc side so it kind of saves you some time and effort so if you ever see some stuff like that in your programs that you're working on you'll notice that they're doing that for the user ability or the user friendly ability on the screen and sometimes for safety or sometimes for the best practice of that specific system. So I'm trying to give you a mix of op, you know different components and stuff like that to give you the better you know atmosphere of learning. Um, so uh, with all that said, we'll continue on to the very next video.